Shalom. This is Al McCarn with the Nation's Ninth of Av, coming to you on day 14 of our 21 days of prayer. The topic for today is regard, a topic taken from Psalm 122, verses 12 to 16. But you, O Lord, you will arise and have mercy on Zion, for the time to favor her has come. For your servants take pleasure in her stones and show favor to her dust. So the nation shall fear the name of the Lord and all the kings of the earth your glory. For the Lord shall build up Zion. He shall appear in his glory. Do we ever wonder what God means when he says he has a high regard for Zion? What is Zion anyway? In brief, it's Jerusalem, the city of the great king, meaning the city God chose as his own. Jesus testified to the holiness of God's city in his greatest sermon. From Matthew 5, verses 33 to 35, again, you have heard that it was said to those of old, you shall not swear falsely, but shall perform your oaths to the Lord. But I say to you, Do not swear at all, neither by heaven, for it is God's throne, nor by the earth, for it is his footstool, nor by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. This is the city God cares for the most out of all the cities on the earth. It's the capital of the land he cares for more than any other land. And that's why It's the home of the people he cares for more than any other people. That would be Israel, his covenant nation. The Jewish people of Israel are even now a living testimony of the regard our creator has for his people, his land, and his city, over which he rules as the great king. It's because he regards them so highly that he promises to do something with all his heart and soul on their behalf. From Jeremiah 32, verses 36 to 41. Now therefore, thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning this city of which you say, it shall be delivered into the hand of the king of Babylon by the sword, by famine, and by the pestilence. Behold, I will gather them out of all countries where I have driven them in my anger, in my fury and in great wrath. I will bring them back to this place, and I will cause them to dwell safely. They shall be my people, and I will be their God. Then I will give them one heart and one way, that they may fear me forever, for the good of them and their children after them. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them that I will not turn away from doing them good, but I will put my fear in their hearts so that they will not depart from me. Yes, I will rejoice over them to do them good and will assuredly plant them in this land with all my heart and with all my soul. If God promises to do this for Israel with all his heart and his soul, should we consider he might want us to join him? Let's pray. Father, we thank you for putting us on earth to witness you doing exactly what you promised to do with all your heart and with all your soul. Israel is being restored just as you said in the land you gave them. If you are doing this, then why should we doubt the rest of your promises about putting your fear in their hearts so they will not depart from you and making an everlasting covenant with them? Help us to understand your regard for your holy city, your holy land, and your holy people. May we also have revelation about the place we from the nations have with your holy people as we join with our Jewish brothers and sisters in praising you from Zion. Amen. Thank you for listening and praying. Join us again tomorrow for our Day 15 Meditation. 